So here's the task at hand today. Kind of got a little bit of a damaged roof here. It's still salvageable. Now this shed was built uh, about 10 years ago and it was actually designed for a firewood business I had. And when I started growing the number of beehives I had, I put a uh, floor in, a raised floor off the ground and just kind of uh, just put it in just the quickest, easiest way to give an emergency storage for a lot of my beehives. I can see the, the neighbor's dogs have been down here chasing squirrels or rabbits or whatever and rearranging everything for me, I guess. But, uh, I don't know, they like to chew on the beehives a little bit here too. As you can see, it's filling full of water. It's raining pretty good out there right now. I better fix this before it all falls down. That side will probably be next. Well, at least it has beehives to rest on. That should help a lot until I can get down here to actually do the repairs. Now this here is my scrap wood pile. I'm going to grab some of this to use for the uh, for repairing down there. So I wanted to get this done today, but unfortunately, these bees right here are uh, a little angry. So I'm gonna have to wait for a cooler day or a day when I can I can move them to another area. And I hope this doesn't doesn't finish collapsing. Now I walked over to my truck. And I heard this funny noise. And I guess one of my uh, power tools. There it is down there. You can see the drill moving. Usually don't leave my batteries plugged in. I figured I'd be going such a short place, short distance, just a couple hundred feet away. Wouldn't hurt. Well, apparently though, they wanted to run 
on their own. So last time I was down here to fix my little beehive storage shed, the bees got a little anxious with me and we're getting a little defensive. So we'll take care of that. That'll keep them in there while I fix the shed here.
keep missing it. <laughs> oh, they it. Compressor wasn't turned on. Didn't want to set the nails. Probably not a good idea. Uh, not the best. Well, better than no support. Still has the one on the other side. If you're wondering what this was for, really shallow roof or low roof, hit your head on it, it hurts. This stops that. So this one here, I can't can't get back there with the uh, the nail gun at all because the beehives, a lot of beehives to move, but it's not falling off. It's pretty solid. I can reach back there and push on it. But what I can do is over here to reach up here. I can feel where the actual two by four is, and I can put a couple nails to this outer OSB to hold that two by four, just a little extra support. So this is what basically I've done here. This is the beehive that the other day when it was raining, about two, two weeks ago, I guess, you can see the bees in there, they want out. Had to close them up, they, they're not too happy to make a commotion. Um, and then I started and they didn't quite have the cameras running, but I bumped this beehive over here. And it was offset, I figured, from the dogs that I had no idea. I guess a swarm had moved into it at some time. Um, I had no idea, but you can see I kind of had to tape up where they're going in and out at. Um, I'll have to open up that pretty quick, give them some ventilation, so they don't suffocate. But um, they came out, they weren't too happy, so I kind of, I just kind of taped them up. And uh, once they settled down, came back out to start. But I put some blocks in here to help support the, the wood. As you can see, this one here is really cracking a lot. Um, put an extra nail to kind of hold it, but it, it's splitting. And a nail here to, to pin it. This one to pin, but I messed up and don't try again, otherwise it's just gonna be a bigger mess. I got that support in. And I got that support in over there. Um, the block was a little short and didn't realize it, or I put it on incorrectly actually, but it still seems to work, so. I mean, it was put in with a couple nails that weren't ring shank or galvanized nails, and it's lasted over 10 years. So let's look out here. So I always buy extra two by fours in case I need them. And this pallet that's sitting on, and this pallet was a uh, father had made some migratory pallets, but uh, he just made them out of the wrong stuff and 
the migratory pallets for you set beehives on, you can get four individual beehives on. And you can see they have a little entrance into them, but he used OSB. Now, when you have the latex paint and the moisture inside the beehives, you stick the beehives on there, and the latex paint has a tendency to stick to the to the beehive on top of it. So when you peel it off, you'll peel these things off. So I, I never put them into use. I'm not really a migratory beekeeper anyways. And then I have no power, my power is far away. So this is basically what I did today. I have my portable hose reel here and a small pancake air compressor generator I've had for, I don't know, 14 years? No, 12 years. 12 years, keeps running. And of course my nail gun, and I had some screws if I needed them and stuff. Anyways, those, those pallets that I showed you, they're actually gonna go up on top of the roof. Um, I don't wanna crawl up there and you know just the the metal is so flexible and me being over 200 pounds that's going to crush that and tear it up so i'll put a pallet here and a pallet on the other side down there and that'll give enough weight to keep anything from blowing off i mean when when it had no supports in there whatsoever it didn't blow off so take care of that and get everything cleaned up well just for fun let's go ahead and open the beehives before we end this video There we go, they have their front entrance back. Uh. 